This is the front of the PWMA200. It's pretty much all speaker, and I've left a familiar object in the picture to give you a sense of its size. The top is filled with knobs and connectors. On one side of the carrying handle, there's a line out so you can connect this to another sound system, an input plug for the included wired handheld mic, a volume control for that mic, indicator lights, and a volume control for the wireless microphone. On the other side of the handle, there's the antenna, an input jack for the optional car charger, a charging indicator light, an input jack for an additional audio source like an iPod, and volume, tone, and tuning controls for the built-in FM radio. Here's the back, and there are even a couple of things to see here. There are mounting holes, so you can hang this from a wall or a performing table. And behind the little door at the bottom is an AC cord that you can use to power or charge the unit. Here's the body pack and headset mic. The cable attaches with a screw and connector, so it won't come out accidentally. The cable is nicely flexible and covered with cloth, so it won't easily snag on anything. Finally, the microphone is attached with a fully flexible coiled cover that can be easily adjusted. So, how well does this sound? Wish I could tell you, but I'm not in the room right now. I'm in the next room, reading this into the headset mic. The PWMA200 receiver is sitting on my desk, and I have a microphone there recording its output, and that is what's being used for this review.